and welcome to Acacia's cooking class. Today we will be making beef fasole. Now let's go to the main ingredients. For beef fasole, we need beef and hominy. And we need some dried chili pots, but they're not dried anymore because uh, this one, I removed the seeds out first and then soak it in hot water so that we can blend it earlier so I do it that one that part ahead and then for this one we will be needing some garlic for the flavor bay leaves here cumin and the Mexican oregano and uh, in order to brown the the beef we will be needing some oil any oil that you have at home some garlic powder and salt and for the garnishes, once our pozole is done, before we serve it, we need some garnish to make it more flavorful. We need some crunchiness, so we will be using some cabbage, and I like this one, they're radishes. And for onions and cilantro. And we need some, uh, what do you call this one, citric onion, we will be using the lime. So now we will brown the beef first and then while cooking it, I will just boil water so that after we brown the, the beef and then we will put it on boiled in water and season it. We will be needing garlic after we brown the yeah. So we will save half of the garlic when we make our sauce. So let's put the meat on the pan. Let's brown it a little. Let's add our garlic this time. Okay, now that the, we browned the meat, we have to transfer it in a big pot because today I am cooking uh, a big one today. So, we will be needing a big pot of water. Uh, water is about to boil, so we will transfer the meat here so that there is more room for it to boil. Transfer it slowly. So while we're waiting for our beef to cook, let's start doing our chili sauce. In order to make our sauce, so we will be using a blender. Okay, what we're gonna do, we will put all this chili that has been soaked here so that it will release all its color and its flavor. We transfer it right here. We'll add some garlic also, cumin in it. So we need cumin, round one. Add a little here and then the rest later on the pot. And you can always add, it depends on uh, the flavoring you are aiming for. And then you'll add later if, if it's needed. And some garlic. Okay, we'll put a little liquid in it then we'll put 
natin na yung strainer. This time we will add our bay leaves to our liquid ingredients. So, bay leaves in and then this is the sauce that we make out of the chili pads with a mixture of guajillo, chili, and ancho. So they're both a combination of it. So we will add it to our to the pot and we will add more if it is needed. So while we are waiting for it to fully control the meat and we will start our ch chopping our garnishes. we want our cabbage look like. Now let's chop our radish. Then the onions. Okay, we need to add our omini omi now on the pot. Okay, now that the hominy is in the pan, so we will add oregano in it. So what we will do, these are dried oregano. So we will wrap together our palms. To that, uh, to that we will add more cumin, salt also, and some garlic powder so we will let it boil for uh, let's see uh, about another one hour if there is meat and the hominy is cooked done and then season it more if it is needed then we're almost done okay we're back this time the arpozole is done so it's time for us to taste it turn off the stove first this is really hot Add our garlic. So we have cabbage, onions, the radish, and cilantro. It's up to you uh, which one you prefer. But as for me, I prefer M. Okay, let's take it. Okay, it's good. Let me try. I hope you can uh, taste it with me. Okay, that's uh, our pozole for today. So. The recipe will be sent to you on your delivery day. It's either Monday or Wednesday. So until next time, if you like our page, please don't forget to subscribe and always like the click button. And see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.